Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Hollister, Missouri with JC News Now. As, well, he's a bit upset about an incident that happened a few days ago where uh, he ended up getting socked by a business owner or at least one of the employees. But hey, he challenged the guy, and the guy obliged him, so technically it's his fault anyway. And when the police arrived, they enforced a trespass on him, and uh, didn't exactly help him out one bit either. Oh, poor little guy. I mean, come on now. You challenged the guy to a fight, and it ended up getting trespassed. But now he's seeking to take it to a higher level, and guess what? Nothing's getting done. Well, now, I guess if you started it, it's not exactly going to look good on you. I mean, stupid is as stupid does, and you were stupid enough to do that, so you get what you deserved. So anyway, let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. What's up, YouTube? Uh, on the 14th, I was assaulted them in a dispensary and the police took a report and uh, she had the cop that came reported that showed up had uh, video evidence of the assault and uh, a signed police report and an admission by the guy that did it and so uh I just called the prosecutor's office and it's been over a week. It's been on nine days and she still hasn't filed the report. So let's call the Hollister cops and see what's up. Oh, just like a fraudster to not entirely tell the truth. Uh, so I'll go ahead and link the video in the description and uh, let you view it for yourself. But the guy was antagonistic toward the uh, one who assaulted him. So it's understandable that things are going much slower because, well, they uh, the guy admitted it. And the prosecutor has the footage. Well, that basically means uh, they know how antagonistic you were. So therefore, it's going to be a lot harder for your case. Now, if he had just come out of nowhere and did it, then maybe they would have him. But no, that's not exactly how it's going to work out for you, I suppose. To speak with records, Joanna Tate, press 1. To speak with records... Hi, uh, my name's Jimmy, and I was assaulted in Hollister on the 14th. Do you know who I am? Yes. Uh, I was w wondering how that case was coming along. I talked to the prosecutor, and he said that uh, Officer Douglas hasn't filed the report yet. I don't believe I have that report completed yet. Let me put you on hold and double-check. Let me pull the case number in lunch. Okay, thank you. Well, shame on those police for dragging their feet on this one. This should be an open and shut case. I mean, the guy did clock you, but, well, the thing is, I mean, you did invite him to do it, so uh, that works. Does not, that doesn't work out in your favor. I pulled that case number, and it's showing that it's still not approved, so I do not have it at this time. Okay, who, who gets to approve this? supervisor, which would be Sergeant Swanson. Sergeant Swanson. Is he in? He is not in today. Uh, that squad is off. I can send you to his voicemail. Okay. Uh, and then I will give you his email address. Um, when will he be back? I'd like to just talk to him. I believe Sunday. Sunday. when he works. Oh, okay. So I have to wait another three days to get my to get justice you know dude you strike me as the kind of person who would put their hand on a hot stove and wonder why the hell he's getting burned i mean come on now you poke the bear and the 
bear smacked you down, so you got what you deserve. I mean, I, I'm not sure how long it'll take for that report to be completed and given to him to be approved, so I'm not in, sure on the timeline. But again, I can send you to his voicemail or I can give you um, his email address if you want to follow up with him on the timeline of that. Sure, what's, what's his email address? Nope, I'm not going to help this fraudster spread that email around, so I'm cutting that part out. Okay, uh, and he has a phone number? Um, I can send you to his extension. His extension number is 1230. 1230, okay. And uh, one more question. What it would happen if I assaulted that guy? Would it take 10 days to, for him to get justice? Wow, what a little crybaby you are. I mean, you get a little touch from that guy, a little scratch even, and you want a, uh, the whole world to come crashing down on him immediately. But I'll tell you something, dude. It doesn't work that way in the real world. The justice system moves ever so slowly for a good reason so they can get everything things squared away, proper investigations done, so that way the right people are taken care of. It doesn't revolve around you, it doesn't move at your pace, it's not all about you, dumbass. The timeline on police reports, I don't really have because it just is a matter of that officer completing the report and then again how long it takes for that supervisor to approve before I get it so there isn't a designated time frame that I know of for specific reports I see I see uh, all right I guess Hollister police gets to operate at their own speed I'm curious what would happen if I would assaulted that guy how fast it would have happened I'd be in jail well now, maybe you can go ahead and test that. Maybe you should go down to that business, walk right in there, and uh, take care of business and see how fast you get put in jail. Because, well, that most certainly would happen because, well, the guy wasn't asking for it. And so, and you just walked right in there and did it for, for uh, reasons. I mean, uh, yeah, they would put you jail in jail for a while. But uh, if you're stupid enough to go try it, then go try it. I mean, I'm not condoning it, but if that's what you want to do, just get it all out of your system and find out. So F around and find out. At any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.